Welcome to my channel Tech Savvy. Today we are going to learn about email alert configuration on Nagio server. These are the steps which we are going to perform to configure Nagio alert configuration. This will be done in two part. In first part we will configure manual alert configuration and then once everything will be working fine in the manual configuration we will automate it don't worry about these steps you will find all these steps into my blog page i will paste my blog page link into the description block you can find all the required steps which we are going to use in this video into my blog page And now let's start configuring alerts. All the steps which we are going to perform in this video will be done on Nagio server only. Nothing will be done on client machine. So this is my Nagio server. First step is we need to edit contact.config file with below code. So we will go to contact.config file. Under this file, you can see we need to define the contact. For defining the contact, we need to mention the contact name, alias, email, and notification types, service notification like warning, critical, and all those things will be sent by the Nagio server as an alert. So we will take this code and we can do we can directly paste this code or we can edit existing code also either way will be work i prefer removing existing code and putting our own code which will help me to avoid any typing error so i will comment it out all these things and i will just put enter and paste it here so let me do some alignment and some required changes uh, first i will change the mail id so i will give my dummy mail id demo at gmail.com and i will do some alignment changes here okay so we have updated our contact file escape colon wq enter next step is we need to install mailx from where we will get emails so we just type yum install mailx hyphen y it is installing mailx package okay it is completed next step is we need to configure smtp for that etc mail.rc file under this file we will configure smtp so under this file down here i will write hash smtp smtp configuration under this we will put this code and one thing we need to change is we will change the email address demo and second point is at the gmail.com and second point is we need to give our password but gmail has stopped taking password so we need to generate access token key So I already generated one token from my gmail account so I will use that here that is this okay escape colon wq okay. next step is let's test whether our test email send is working fine or not so for that we will write this command Just change the email ID. Okay. 
okay it is accepted and sent let me check in my gmail account okay as you can see we have received test mail that means smtp is correctly configured okay fine next step is we need to change some code into the command.config file so we will go to the command.config file under this command.config file you will find two configuration first is notify host by email second one is notify service by email as you can see here we have given service notification command and host notification command as notify service by email and notify host by email the small change we need to perform here is it is sending mail with send mail and we are using mail x so we need to just change this with mail x server okay so just type i and change this code with mail x code okay delete it paste next in second code also okay done escape colon wq enter so let's compare once a with existing configuration file to create a negative file if any difference is found or not okay that means everything is configured correctly just restart negative server enter okay so let's check whether we are getting alerts or not just click on this part and let's check uh something okay stop accepting or no just wait services critical services acknowledge this enable for this service for notification commit okay done let's see whether we got email or not mm -hmm. Send custom service email. Server is down. Commit done. As you can see, see we have received notification. Okay, so right now we are getting this notification manually when we click here with the service command, but we can automate it whenever anything or any service will go into the critical state so we will get the notification automatically one more thing i want to highlight here is you can see service notification command and host notification command we have uh, we can see here host notification and service notification also under these two options we have mentioned wucrfs and durfs what does it mean is that we can see here u is up d is down r is unreachable and pending so under host we have given these four okay and under service o is okay warning as w unknown for u critical for c and pending for p so we have given this much okay so let's configure or let's automate this email for that we just need to follow next step this is here automating email and we need to install some default dependencies first is mail x which we have already installed next is send mail so for send mail just install it okay send mail is star if any dependency is left out it will take it from there next is under this etc host we need to define local host maybe it is already defined we just need to verify local host local host dot local host admin okay local host is there and local host admin is not there and local host is not there so what we do we will just copy this 
okay these will local host domain is also there okay no need to do any changes here because it is already defined sometimes it happens that it will not come so we need to manually change it next step is go to contact.config file and change this code and that part is also we have done earlier so let's just verify once see okay i'm sorry okay so all these things are already mentioned here so no need to again change it next is under command.config file same we need to change the mail x that is also been done okay the only change uh, we need to do from to automate email from manual process is this one, this one what we need to do is we need to do client uh, we need to go to client.cfg file and under this file with each service we need to add notification code that is this one as you can see in each host and in each service so first one is host for host as you can see uh, this one is host definition so under this definition we will add this code okay let me do some alignment here it is not looking very good so we have added code into host part and the second part is in each service section okay so there are some four five services we need to enter this code here okay next service okay so let's just restart service once again and let's check whether it is working fine or not now as you can see it is working let's check the status okay very good so okay just refresh here refresh this page and go to services go to yeah services under this you can see uh, client node is down okay let me check what is happening with the client node system CDL status okay. what is the service name is NRP service okay it is active okay mm -hmm. it is showing down because lots of services are down here that's why okay let's go to service and check whether we will get automatic alert you can see i have not done anything it is all automatically showing that cloud node is down or whatever services will be down it will automatically send the email within some time or 120 seconds or 60 seconds so that's it about nagios alert configuration thanks for watching please subscribe my channel